time for Don't Buy It, DIY It. <laughs> Our next guests are a DIY duo who have more than two million followers on YouTube alone. They have even more on other platforms and they're all about easy projects that won't break the bank. And they're about to show us one now in honor of our DIY week. Please welcome Kelsey McDermott and Becky Wright, also known as the Sorry Girls. Hi, thanks for having us. Thank you so much so for excited. joining us today. Now, quick question. You're named the Sorry Girls. You're from Canada. Mm -hmm. And is it mm -hmm. because people say sorry in Canada a certain way? Yeah, you got it. That's, That's pretty right. much it as well. <laughs> as well as the fact that um, when we started our YouTube channel, we didn't know what it was going to be about, but we knew we were Canadian and that wouldn't change. Well, I love it. Okay, so you guys have another series that I'm obsessed with because it's called, mm -hmm. That Cost How Much? And exactly. I hear <laughs> that pitch in my head. <laughs> and I'm so appreciative that you guys have this show called that. It's, I think, what is coming out of most of our mouths when we do look at the price tag. So you're going to DIY something that's normally really expensive in stores. Becky, what are we DIYing today? Today, I am going to show you how you can DIY your own stone, ceramic-inspired lamp. The best thing about this is that you can do it with a lamp that you already have, that you don't love anymore, or maybe one from the thrift store. We're also going to be DIYing the lampshade, too, which is a Scandinavian-inspired inspired trend that's coming back. And lamps like these can cost over $200, so we're going to do it for a lot less today. All right. Walk me through this. Okay, so first off, for the base, we have some regular old house paint here, and we're going to add in a couple tablespoons of our baking powder. This is going to give us texture, lots of texture. And then start mixing and it'll slowly start um, making like a mousse texture. That's what we're, we're looking for here. I love that. If it was a different color, we'd kind of want to eat it, but we're not going to. Don't <laughs> eat it. <laughs> if it was pink, it would look like cotton candy. <laughs> I was thinking like more chocolate. Chocolate's oh. my vibe for sure. Oh yeah, I might have <laughs> eaten a chocolate cupcake over my sink last night. <laughs> One of those nights. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, are you getting the texture? Oh, wow, you guys. This is amazing. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It's like mousse. Once we have some of our textured paint, we're just going to go ahead and put it on our base here. We're going to want to go to the same direction because, you know, think if we're trying to replicate some natural stone pottery, we want... Um, to kind of go the same direction. So I'm just going horizontally across the base. And don't smooth it out too much because we want that texture to really come through. And when it's all done and dried, it's going to look something like this, the texture th showing through, and looks a lot more expensive now, I think. All right, Becky is going to show us how to do the lampshade to finish it all off. All right, so what we've already done for the shade is actually taken apart the one that came with the lamp. We've deconstructed it, taken the fabric off. So we have the rings left, and we're going to be making a new shade entirely for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to make this, we're doing it out of cardstock. This is 8.5 by 11, and we're going to start by just folding accordion style about three quarters of an inch. Are you with me, Drew? I am very with you. Okay, we, we are repeating this process a bunch of times until we have a long sheet that looks like this. Our aim is to get a piece of accordion style paper that's about twice the circumference of the shade that we're going for. And how do you adhere the pieces together, may I ask? You can just use plain clear tape because we don't want to see it. So any simple craft tape will do the job. Just tape all your pieces together until you have a long accordion piece like so. So there's one more step we need to do before we can attach it to the shade. And this is really simple. It requires using a hole punch to punch a series of holes along the top and the bottom of the shade. And you'll also want to do a little slit with some scissors so that we can access the hole punches. Okay. And this is what's going to let us clip our shade onto the rings. This part is so simple. It's amazing. So all you need to do is take your ring and then with the holes that we've made, just 
go ahead and clip them right onto the ring, all the way around in a circle. Okay, got it. Are we? Are you um, now clipping on your shade to your ring? Oh, you wouldn't believe it! Wow. I'm so amazing. <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Um. And then we just put it with the base that Kelsey showed you earlier. And oh mm. my gosh, this lamp got a facelift. <laughs> These look super chic, super expensive. Honestly, around what price point do you think you could genuinely do this for? So assuming you already have this lamp, all you need to buy is the paper and the paint, which I think could cost you less than $10 to do. Okay, I love this, you guys. I really want to do this with you again. Will you please come back and we can DIY ourselves silly? Of course, I would love, love to. to. Thank you, Kelsey and Becky. And be sure to check out the Surrey Girls on YouTube for even more fun DIYs.